Hello, brothers and sisters. Good morning to you, brothers and sisters. I'm Van Stites, and I'm the Archbishop Desmond Dutu. You know, when you go to a traditional Anglican worship service on Sunday, you realize that in the service, we recite the Decalogue, and we do this every first Sunday of the month. I'm sure that some of you are wondering, what in the world is the Decalogue? Well, basically, Decalogue means Ten Commandments. So basically, when you hear an Anglican talk about the Decalogue, we're talking about the Ten Commandments. That's right. The Ten Commandments given by God to Moses to give to the Hebrew people. Now, I don't know for sure if Decalogue is Greek, Hebrew, or Latin for Ten Commandments, but basically that's what it means. The Decalogue means the Ten Commandments. And like I said before, we recite the Decalogue every first Sunday of the month in our worship service. And in this video, the Archbishop Desmond Tutu and I are going to recite the Decalogue as it would be recited by the priest and the parishioners during the service. It's usually the priest or the bishop who recites the commandment, and then we respond by saying, Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to demonstrate to you how this how the recitation of the Decalogue is carried out so that when you go to a traditional Anglican service, you'll know exactly what to expect. Let's get started. <clears throat> God take these words and said, I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have none of the gods but me. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt not create unto thyself any graven image of that which is in the heaven above, or in the earth beneath, or in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, or worship them. Lord, have mercy upon us, and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Lord, have mercy upon us, and incline our hearts to keep this law. Remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy. Lord, have mercy upon us, and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt honor thy father and thy mother. Lord, have mercy upon us, and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt do no murder. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt not steal. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neither. Lord, have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this law. Thou shalt not covet. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write all these thy laws in our hearts, we beseech thee. Amen. And after that, then the priest, or the bishop, that would be me, would recite the summary of the law, which basically is supposed to be, when you think about the commandments, you, you pretty much wonder, what are these commandments all about? The summary of the law basically summarizes what each law is expected of us, you know, what God expects from us as his children, the main commandments to keep. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ said. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments in all the law and the prophets. Basically, the first four of the Ten Commandments, you know, you shall have none other gods but me, you shall not create unto yourselves any graven image, in other words, idols. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. And you shall not, I mean, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Basically, these four laws are to indicate our relationship with God, that we love God so much that we would not want to take his name in vain. We would not want to worship anyone else but the Lord himself. And also, that we will keep holy, I mean, basically, we try and keep holy the religious days like the Sabbath and Christmas and Easter Sunday, basically observing that these are holy days and we are to be on our best behavior in the name of God on these days. And the, the last commandments, the last six commandments, those are basically laws for us in how we are supposed to behave toward our families, our friends and strangers, everyone that we come in acquaintance with in the world, you know. We're supposed to honor our parents. We're not supposed to kill anybody. We're not supposed to cheat on our wives or our husbands, our significant others. Excuse me. You're excused. Thank you. And you're not to take what doesn't belong to you. You're not supposed to take what belongs to someone else. You know, when you're in court and you're testifying, you're not supposed to lie about this person saying, I saw him did this, when the reality is he didn't do it and you know he didn't do it. 
And as far as coveting, you know, you're not supposed to look at this person with envy in your eyes thinking, he's got a gorgeous wife. I want that wife. I want his wife and I'll do whatever it takes to get his wife. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad thinking. I know. So those are basically what the Ten Commandments are all about. As Jesus himself said, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Absolutely. So basically, that is what the Decalogue, the Ten Commandments, are all about, and that's how they are relevant to us in our traditional Anglican services. I hope you learned something watching this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.